Welcome to Unicord. We connect people to court records and make the process of finding and using court records simple and easy. Today we'll be talking about how to download court documents. You'll need to have a case details page open in order to download its documents. If you haven't run your first search yet, you can find the How to Search Court Records video tutorial in your Unicort dashboard. In this video, we'll be downloading the complaint for the Joe Oslanian v. Bank of America Corporation case we found in our previous search. Before we download any documents, we should update our case to make sure we have the latest documents available. To do this, click on the Get Latest Case Updates button at the top of the case above the case name. Since we're working on a federal case, we've been prompted to provide our PACER account credentials. The federal courts make records available for digital download using the Public Access to Court Electronic Records, or PACER, system. On the Unicort platform, you can either use your PACER account or sign up to use Unicort's PACER account in order to access federal court data. If you enter your PACER credentials, download fees will appear on your PACER bill. For this demonstration, we'll be using Unicort's PACER account. There are two ways to download documents. You can click the Court's Documents button, or you can scroll down through the docket entries and click the Documents icon. Let's click the Court Documents button. Now the Court Documents pop-up box appears. If any documents from the case are available, you'll find them listed here. Notice that the Court Documents pop-up box is divided into two sections. The documents available for download, which is self-explanatory, but the free documents from the crowdsource library might need a bit of an explanation. Every time a Unicort user downloads a document, Unicort adds the document to its crowdsource library. Once a document has been added to the crowdsource library, all other Unicort users can access it for free. In this case, the document we're interested in is not yet available in the crowdsource library, although previous users have already downloaded three other documents for this case, and they're all listed in the crowdsource library. The document we're looking for is the complaint, so let's go ahead and select it. If we want to select all the documents available, we can click on the Mass Select box at the top. Now let's order our document by clicking the Order Documents button at the bottom left. Before Unicort will download our document and charge a download fee, we're asked to confirm our order. Would we like to proceed? Yes, we would. So let's click the Proceed button on the bottom right. Now that our court document has been downloaded, we'll see that it is also available in the crowdsource library. In order to view our document, let's click on the hyperlink that's been created. Now we can read our document, print it, or even download it to our computer, smartphone, or tablet. Today, we've learned how to download court documents. Our other tutorial videos will help you learn how to search for court records, track cases, and save and schedule searches. You can find a full list of tutorial videos available in your Unicorn dashboard.